I've clearly made this choice to like live my life publicly and put a certain amount of information about me being trans and my life out on the internet. That absolutely does not mean that I want to out myself to like someone at a bar or at a party. Like I should still reserve the right to be able to do that on my own terms. But it can get difficult because something as simple as someone asking me what I do for my job, it's like, oh, I make videos. Cool, what do you make videos about? Let me get out my phone and like look up your YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is all like trans this, trans that. Before, they might have just been like, here's this like tiny dude. I don't know why he's so small and looks like he's 15, but he's just a normal guy like me. And now it's like, oh, it's because he's transgender. I grew up in North Texas in the 90s and early 2000s. I barely knew any other gay people. I did not know any trans people. Like I never had a teacher utter the word gay. There was no gay straight alliance. I didn't know what gay straight alliance was or LGBT was until I went to college. Like I just had no resources. YouTube was a total game changer for the transgender community. Um, I mean, social media and the internet in general was, was huge because trans people were able to find resources, find each other. They were sharing their, uh, their own experiences with transition or just you know grappling with their identity. So I've been making YouTube videos for a long time, starting many years before I ever came out and publicly transitioned as a transgender person. Welcome to the first episode of Will It Waffle? Today we're going to be attempting to waffle Snickers bars. When I decided to come out, I had to do it publicly because when you come out as transgender, especially if you are wanting to change your name and pronouns, if you are wanting to transition in any way, people are gonna notice. I just want to be me all the time without having to think about everything. So, with all of that said, I am transgender. Yep. Okay, said it on the internet now, so that's that. Can't put that smoke back in the jar. The way that I made myself feel more comfortable about it, like, feeling agency in that choice and not feeling like it was something I had to do was remembering the lack of role models that I had growing up. I didn't, like, see any trans guys in the media. I didn't even know trans guys existed until I was in high school, college. So just thinking that like I can sort of be that representation I needed helped me a lot when I was realizing that I had to come out publicly. So just this past weekend, I went to my 10 year high school reunion in Texas. And that was really weird because obviously I'm public about my transition, but I didn't have any idea who knew and who didn't. And I was especially like scared about ex boyfriends or like guys that I had hooked up with because I feel like they would have an extra kind of like baggage around my transition uh, and they might get angry about it they might not want to talk to me I had a whole team of friends who were prepared for any type of like uh, controversy or violence that might happen but luckily nothing happened I had a lot of people who I didn't expect come up to me and greet me by my name as it is now and just ask how things are going and said they watch my videos and that they were like happy to see me there so yeah it was better than expected. I would not tell every trans person to like just so blindly go into your high school reunion because maybe it won't be good for you, but also you might be surprised. <laughs>